The officials, John Clockerty, Carl Hess, and Joe Lindsay. UCLA in white. Missouri in black. And the toss controlled by the Bruins. This is an interesting matchup here. Bozeman has a substantial height advantage against Gilbert. Might be able to take him down inside. Gad Zurich, the power dribble inside. Misses his first. Snatched down by Kareem Rush. And a whistle. Gilbert's hurt. Gilbert has, I believe, dislocated a finger. Oh, boy. And Gilbert comes out of the game. They're on the sideline, and they had to pull the finger. And he is in some obvious pain right there, and that would be a huge loss for Missouri before the game hardly even starts. We played 17 seconds, and Clarence Gilbert holding that hand has to go out of the game, and so now Wesley Stokes, who's played well in this tournament, is going to have a big responsibility. Gilbert had 20 points versus Miami, had 16 points in their win against Ohio State. Now Kareem Rush across the lane, holding with a 20-point game against Ohio State. Stokes down the lane, and the runner is way short. Stokes from Long Beach, California. Bozeman in the front court down the lane. Beautiful play. Stokes missed the shot. Bozeman got out quickly. Nobody picked Bozeman up. Stokes tried to hustle back, but Stokes is only about 5 feet 10. Bozeman is 6 feet 6. Rush gets to the basket, draws the bump. And I believe he stepped on the baseline. Yes, he did. Missouri advancing to the Sweet 16 by knocking off Miami and Ohio State. And a turnover on UCLA. Have an illegal screen against Matt Barnes. And they're still on the bench working on Clarence Gilbert. So now Stokes, along with Rush, Gilbert out of the game, 17 seconds in. Rayvon Bryant, a freshman, having an outstanding tournament, as well as Paulding. Crosses over, gets down the lane, the kick to Stokes. He shot it well in the first two games, misses his first two. But if you're in that man-to-man -man defense for UCLA, that's what you want to do. Make him kick it out and have Stokes shoot the ball. You don't want Johnson shooting it inside. You don't want Rush shooting it outside. That's Zurich, a lot of dribbling. Finally has it taken away by Bryant. I'm going to let Bozeman do the dribbling there, big guy. Arthur Johnson asking for the ball inside. He gets it on the box. Across the lane. Nice scoop shot. Art Johnson. Very important for Missouri to get Arthur Johnson involved in this game early in the game and early in each possession. Make that defense collapse to guard him, and then you can get the ball moving on the perimeter. And a foul. Now Clarence Gilbert ready to check back into the game. He dislocated the ring finger on his left hand. They tape it up. It's not his shooting hand, but it's that guide hand. And let's see if, it's, if it affects his jump shot. He's a natural two guard but has been forced to play the point this season because of some inconsistency on the part of Stokes. Barnes. Long rebound, Gat Zurich, and a new shot clock for the Bruins. And Missouri has absolutely dominated the boards against their opponents. Knight down the lane, contested by Johnson. Gat Zurich with the offensive rebound. Bozeman finds an opening, a left hand, rims out, tapped around. Barnes with the rebound. Come on. And he throws it away. Boy, he worked so hard to get the offensive rebound, and he throw it away. You basically give him an assist. Kareem Rush. Uncontested to the basket, and the Tigers take a 4-2 lead. Swin Snyder's got to be concerned with that last series. They've got to defend their defensive board. Jason Capono has it blocked from behind, taken away by Bryant. Officials let him play early. Here comes Gilbert, into the front court, on the move, and he travels. He thought Rush was behind him. And Trayvon Bryant got popped in the nose, and he may have a nosebleed, so he's going out of the game, and Gage is coming back in. Gat Zurich also checks out of the game. T.J. Cummings, the son of former DePaul great Terry Cummings, comes in for UCLA. Bozeman, Barnes, Knight, Cummings, and Capono. This is T.J. Very long group of Bruins.
Knight somehow finding a crease with the easy layup to tie it up at four apiece. Very small lineup in the game right now for Missouri. Johnson at six feet nine inside with the next tallest guy, six six. And Paulding shuffled his feet inside. Ricky Paulding, sophomore from Detroit at 16 versus Miami, 20 versus Ohio State as Mizzou defeated the Buckeyes 83-67, led by as many as 28. And we're seeing both teams expend a lot of energy here early in the game. Need to settle down, move the ball a little bit on offense. Knight again, the kick out to Capono. Bozeman, nice ball fake, getting in deep, has it partially blocked. Rebounded by Arthur Johnson. Now what's the key to this game? I think the key to the game is the first team that settles down and starts taking some good shots. Everybody's trying to attack the basket, and the first team that settles down gets a little bit of continuity on offense, I think has the chance to break out to a lead. A lot of unselfish play on the part of the Tigers in the first two games. Missouri's better when they're going inside. Paulding shovels it. Johnson hacked on the play. T.J. Cummings called for the foul. This is what we're talking about. Missouri takes their time on this play. They move the ball from side to side, and then the penetration results in Johnson with an open lane to the basket, and Paulding doing a nice job releasing the ball. And Arthur Johnson is a guy that if he is going to get going early, then that makes the outside game for Missouri that much more effective. 14.6 rebounds against Ohio State. 12 points, 6 rebounds versus Miami. A big key may be his ability to stay out of foul trouble because once you get past Johnson and Trayvon Bryan, Missouri does get a little small with the guys they play a lot. Second one way short. Five or four, Tigers on top of the Bruins. Now Barnes, very versatile player, almost had a triple-double in their last game as he comes up with the assist tonight. UCLA doing a nice job moving without the ball. They're really putting some pressure on that Missouri defense. And UCLA surprisingly has played man-to-man -man every possession. I think Missouri was expecting to play some zone, but that's a nice job to take advantage of Johnson on the inside. Gage, Justin Gage. 6'4", 208, he's the football player. Very talented wide receiver for the Missouri football team. Cummings from outside, tapped around, played by Cummings. New shot block for UCLA. Johnson used to blocking guys out on the inside, but he didn't block Cummings out on the perimeter. Cummings, power move, jump hook. His father did it just like that. And Arthur Johnson, that's his fault right there. If he blocks Cummings out, they get the rebound. Cummings doesn't get that opportunity. And let's take a look at the early shooting. UCLA 4 of 11. 11 attempts. Missouri 3 of 5. 11 attempts. That's because of the offensive rebound. Four offensive rebounds. Tough shot. And Bozeman, 6 feet 6 inches out of modern day high school. Only a freshman. Barnes from downtown. And air ball sailing right out of bounds. And Barnes, 14-21 to go. We've got a one-point game in San Jose. Very interesting. Quinn Snyder told us yesterday that that play is one of the things that he's trying to get his players to not focus on. He said there's a lot of things. His hair versus Steve Lavin's hair. The fact that Wesley Stokes <laughs> wasn't recruited by UCLA. The friendship between Jason Capono and Jerron Rush and Josh Kroenke. He said there's a lot of things that are around this game that he wants his players to forget about and just go play. Bruins fans in attendance saying they don't need Tyus today. Gilbert. That one off the side of the rim, out of bounds. And it was not touched by a Bruin. John Thompson in the game now for UCLA. And Gilbert dislocating the ring finger on his left hand. 17 seconds in. Also in the game, Ryan Walcott, a freshman from Phoenix. And the split lift has been a real problem for Missouri in this tournament. Arthur Johnson now out of the game with a split lift. Gilbert chasing it down to the basket. He's fouled. Walcott getting him on the wrist, and Clarence Gilbert will go to the line and shoot two.
So thus far in this game for the Missouri Tigers, Quinn Snyder on the very 17 seconds into the game saw Clarence Gilbert go to the bench with a dislocated finger. Then Trayvon Bryant got hit in the nose and he had to go out of the game. He's back in now. Now Arthur Johnson, who got hit in the lip and was bleeding, he's getting ready to come back in. The bleeding is now stopped. So Clarence Gilbert gets the first one to go. Uh,